Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. Following up from our previous video, we have received some concern that our teleportation method that we have created does not actually represent the main, the main idea of teleportation, which represent uh, innocently movements from point A to point B without seeing the transition between the two points. Although sometimes this is uh, a request in the interior um, teleportation, like without having actually uh, the instantly movements, just to see uh, the this smoothness uh, between the two points uh, through the movements, we're also going to create uh, the other type of the teleportation in this video. So uh, let's get started. Uh, but before that, let's uh, also show how to increase the speed uh, for the teleportation character that we have created earlier. So uh, to increase the movements, uh, we're going to go just to the character movements. And inside uh, the character movements uh, walking, we can increase the value currently as 300. So if we go back again and let's have a uh, test and see how the movements are going. So it's slow as you can see. And if we increase this value, let's say for 5000 and hit play again. And let's see how this is going to affect the movements. So this is going to increase uh, the teleportation through the smoothness uh, movements between point A and point B. Okay, so uh, let's create the other type of teleportation, which is the instantly movements from the two points. So to start, we're going to duplicate the teleportation character and double click this one. And basically, I'm going to delete these uh, the move uh, the move to location function that we created earlier so again we're gonna uh, delete the move to location function and we're gonna start by creating a line trace for object i'm gonna call this now uh, line trace for object and we have two locations the start and the end so i'm gonna get the world location from uh, the transformation and also uh, get forward vector from also the transformation from this I'm gonna get the player bound as my uh, movements uh, bound uh, reference and connect also to the forward vector so we need first to get uh, the location uh, the first location of this uh, bound and we're gonna add a vector plus vector and then we're going to also get from the forward vector uh, multiplication of a vector uh, by float. And let's determine the value, for example, uh, that will uh, define the teleportation from point A to point B. So let's start, for example, by, uh, let's say, 600. And let's connect this to our uh, uh, world location. And basically, we're gonna, this is going to represent the end location. And the world location can represent the start location. Also, from the object type, we can also make an array to define which object we actually can uh, teleport to by, for example, the world static. So we can only uh, teleport using uh, defining the world static objects. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is. We're gonna break uh, the head result uh, from the line trace. So, break head result, and we're gonna get from the location, get the location from the line trace, and we're gonna call uh, the teleport uh, function that is created by uh, Epic Games. Okay, so to teleport we need to create a branch and from this branch we're gonna get also get the return value and if it's true we're gonna teleport and if it's also uh, if it's false we're gonna teleport also by defining uh, the original location that we have defined before the line trace hits so this is gonna be our uh, location so basically now we have our uh, teleportation method last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, disconnect the event tick from our uh, teleportation uh, method and this is 
because if we keep connecting the event tick to the sequence with the, the input action from the mouse, if you keep right, uh, pressing right click, it will keep teleporting without uh, stopping. So we, I'm gonna move the press to the enter and also to the release to the open. And I'm gonna connect the event tick to our original uh, nodes that we have created for the reference detail uh, object. So let's drag our uh, character inside our uh, example scene here. So let's put it a little bit uh, on the back so we can give it some space. And let's hit play. And if you right click now, you can see the teleportation start instantly without the, trans uh, the, s uh, the smooth transition. So to increase uh, the teleportation speed in the distance, we can increase the value from the forward vector. Let's say for example for 1000. And let's compile and hit play. Let's see now, it's gonna go faster uh, than before. The more you increase the value, obviously it's gonna be much uh, faster. So this is also the second type of uh, the teleportation, just in case if uh, the smooth transition from point A to point B is not acceptable and you need to do uh, a basic or uh, the main idea of the teleportation, which is the instantly movements. So here you go, the, these are the two types of the teleportation methods. Uh, if you have any question, please share it down in the comments. And thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.